Hi everyone, in this video, video I'm going to share how to I create pagination like this uh, with a Superbase database. In this case, I'm using a store procedure or function with an API call from Flutterflow. So the the point is uh, when I when we are creating some function with uh, Superbase, uh, if the data is uh, loud, like a uh, hundred or thousand, it uh, will be cause the infinite loading or uh, time loading text time. So. In order to uh, making it more fast to load the data, we need to modify the function or the REST API. First of all, we need to add these two parameters, limit value and offset value. Limit value is uh, the data that will be showing on each, each page and offset is uh, for start uh, the value to start the data per page and after that we need to add another field which uh, total count this is mean all of the data without uh, the filtering like this to filtering I create a query like this So after we finish uh, with the store procedure as usual we need to define the the API call on the Flutter flow and parsing the parameter. Also need to define API key. And after that, uh, click for test API call. And you will get the data that we will use the response save as a predict, predict uh, JSON path and after that uh, on the page in this page we need to define uh, the, the the page step First is offset with double data type, limit, and current page. For a limit in this time, I'm setting for 10 per page. And after that, uh, I putting some list view here with a backend query from the API call that we just created and parsing the parameter like a limit and offset. Also, this is a search key from the previous tutorial. And after that, Uh, you can uh, set up for all fields like uh, for example this is for showing the name like this
and etc. After that, uh, I create uh, another row. And from this backend query, I just copying this and paste in this row. To get the total data, I just get the data from the total column. And just for first or last, it doesn't matter because uh, all of this uh, all of this column is the same value. And after the after that, as you can see, I have two button next and previous, which uh, it, this is the current page and and the total page. For current page, I get from this formula. Uh, actually, there is a, at uh, at least for for kind of formula. Uh, this is for getting current page, which the formula is offset value divided limit value plus one, and For the all uh, the total page, the the formula is ceiling to, uh, total data divided uh, limit value. Which uh, in this case I need to create some custom function like this to get the ceiling. And after that, uh, when the previous button click, I update the page stat, which is a uh, two page stat. First is I up updating offset, and after that, uh, up I updating the current page. The the order it's uh, supposed to be like this: first is offset, and second is current page. And for the offset. To get uh, offset, which uh, in this case previous offset, uh, we need uh, to set up a formula like this: offset uh, minus limit. So this is uh, from page stat offset minus limit, and for the current page, like uh, the previous one. Mm -hmm. Current page. Also, um, when I click for the next, uh, or yeah, next button, I updating to page stat, offset, and current page again. But uh, the difference is um, for offset. This is uh, for next offset. The formula is offset plus limit. This is uh, will be same thing with uh, previous. And if we are on the last page, the bottom uh, the the button next page will be disabled. Also, if we are on the first page, so to handling it, uh, I create some condition on the previous button on the disable action you need to turn on the disable this is will be disable if if bad step or offset equal Zero. So the data will be. This is the first data that's supposed to be shown. And for the next button, this is will be uh, disable if the condition is the current page 
equal uh, last page and forget forget the last page or total page I'm sorry yeah yeah we we can use uh, the previous function so it's mean uh, this is the last page and after that I think uh, we can consume a uh, time more faster than before if we are using this uh, pagination with uh, Superbase API uh, also further uh, so flow provide like uh, data table right this is uh, also handling for pagination with uh, pretty nice but uh, the things is the issue is uh, when we are using this without any pagination on the our REST API call this is uh, mean uh, the data will be load on the first time which uh, mean this is will be text takes a lot of time Uh, also, I will share this project and put it on the description of this video. Okay, uh, everyone, thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.